The focus of this video is to find the standard form of the equation of a conic section given its general form. So let's say for example number 1, the given is x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 8y plus 16 is equal to 0. From the given, we can see that the conic section is a circle because the coefficient of x squared is equal to the coefficient of the y squared. So the first step for us to find the standard form of the equation of this conic section is to do regrouping. When we say regrouping, we're going to lump together the terms having the same variable. Before that, Remember that we follow this equation as the standard form of the equation of a circle. So as you can see, the x and y variables are on the left side and the constant would be on the right side. So to execute that, we can have x squared minus 6x in one parenthesis plus y squared plus 8y in one parenthesis is equal to negative 16. So as you can see, we put together the terms having the same variable. In this case, variable x, the same, and then this would be y. We need to perform completing the square. Meaning, we have to get the third term of this expression. Completing the square would be doing for the next step we have to perform completing the square so for x squared minus 6x we have to make this expression a perfect square trinomial so to do that we can see that Negative 6 would be the coefficient of the middle term. So we're going to divide it by 2, and then we have to square it. So this would give you 9. Therefore, this would be 9 here. For the next part, we have y squared plus 8y plus blank. So again, we need to make this a perfect square trinomial. So I have 8 divided by 2 and then squared. So that would be 16. So this would be 16 is equal to negative 16. And then since we added 9 and 16 to the left side of the equation, we have to do the same to the right side of the equation. And then by factoring, we can have the squared quantity of x minus 3 plus the squared quantity of y minus 4 is equal to negative 16 plus 9 plus 6 would give us 9. So this is now the standard form of the equation of the given in example number 1. So if you're asked to identify what is the center, so this would be your h, and this is our k. Therefore, the center is 3, 4, and getting the radius would be the square root of 9. So that would be 3. For example number 2, same thing, we're going to do regrouping. But before that, be mindful that this would be the standard form of the equation of your parabola. This is a parabola because the given example here would be only one variable is squared. So in this case, the squared variable is y. Therefore, if we regroup the terms, we have to place the y variables on the left side of the equation and the other terms would be on the right side of the equation. So to show that, we can have y squared plus 10y is equal to negative 8x minus 57. 
Performing completing the square, again, the middle coefficient here would be 10 divided by 2, and then we're squaring it. So this becomes 5 squared, and that would be 25. So I have 25 here is equal to negative 8x minus 57. So since we added 25 on the left side, we have to add 25 also on the right side. Simplifying for the left side, we can factor that out. That would be the squared quantity of y plus 5 is equal to, simplifying the right side, we have negative 8x minus 32. So the standard form would give us the squared quantity of y plus 5 is equal to, as you can see here, the common factor of negative 8x and negative 32 is negative 8. So factoring that out, we can have negative 8 times the quantity of x plus 4. So this is now the standard form of the equation of the given here in example 2. For our third example, this is an equation of an ellipse. By inspection, we can see that the coefficient of x squared here is not equal to the coefficient of the y squared, and they have the same signs. So to find the standard form of the equation of the given ellipse, we can have regrouping as our first step. Remember, that we follow this as a standard form of the equation of our ellipse. So as you can see, it is equated to 1. So for our regrouping, we can have the terms having the same variable here and the terms having the same variable y in this part is equal to negative 388. For factoring, Notice that our target here is to have x squared only in this part and y squared only in this part. So we're going to factor out the numerical coefficient here, and that would be 9. So I have 108x divided by 9 is 12x, and then this part, negative 40y divided by 4 is negative 10y is equal to negative 388. Performing completing the square, same process as um, before, we have 12, so I would be having 12 divided by 2 squared, so that would be 36. And for this part, I have negative 10 divided by 2, and then squared, we have 25. Now, we're going to add for this part, we have plus 324 because that would be 9 times 36. And here we have plus 100. We got that from 5 times 25. And then simplifying, we can have 9 times the squared quantity of x plus 6 plus 4 times the squared quantity of y minus 5 is equal to 36. Again, our target is to have our right side equal to 1. So we have to divide all the terms by 36. So simplifying, 9 over 36, that would give you 1 over 4. 4 over 36, that would give you 1 over 9 is equal to 1. So this is now the standard form of the equation of the given ellipse. For our last example, this is an equation of a hyperbola. The coefficients of the x squared and y squared term are not equal. So to find the standard form of this equation, we can have a grouping. So this is the standard form of the equation of a notice that, same as your ellipse, the right side of the equation is equal to 1. So when we do regrouping, we can have the terms having the same variable here in one parenthesis, and here would be the 
y variable. And then we can transpose this negative 22 to the right side, making it positive 22. And then again, our target here is for this part to be x squared only. So we can factor out 5. And therefore, we have negative 10x divided by 5 would be negative 2x. Here, we're factoring out negative 3. So for this part, that would be 12y divided by negative 3 is negative 4y is equal to 22. Performing completing the square, we can have here negative 2 divided by 2 and then squaring the answer would give us 1. Here we have negative 4 divided by 2, then squaring the answer would give us 4. And then we have to add 5. We got 5 from 5 times 1. And also, we're going to have minus 12 because we have negative 3 times 4. So it gives us negative 12. Simplifying, we can have this. 5 times the squared quantity of x minus 1 minus the squared quantity of y minus 2 is equal to 15. Since our target is to have the right side equal to 1, we can divide all the terms by 15. And therefore, simplifying, we can have this one would be 5 over 15, that would be 1 third. Then here, 3 over 15, and lowest term, that would be 1 over 5. And this would be 15 over 15 is equal to 1. So this is now the standard form of the equation of the given hyperbola.